Hello everyone, it's Dr. Artis again. Welcome, I'll give everybody a few minutes to get on. But just so you know, before I get into what I'm talking about is, number one, is I'm using this as a platform to educate people, right? It's just not really to do anything like this. I see a lot of people are struggling and suffering. A lot of people coming in stressed out, a lot of different things happening. Today I wanna to talk about ice and heat, the difference. When to use ice and when to use heat. When to use ice, when to use heat. And so you want to know the difference. A lot of times I see patients that are in chronic pain and one of the things, or acute pain, and the first thing they think is, I need to put a heating pad on, I need to put heat on it. Well, heat is something you use after you get out of an acute situation and more so for a chronic uh, condition. Um, keep in mind, whenever you use heat, it actually increases blood flow to an area to actually relax the muscles. Heat is more so used to reduce tight muscles. But say if you're in pain, one of the things when you're in pain, what you want to do is you want to use ice and the reason why you want to use ice is ice reduces inflammation there's a lot of research right now that's saying you know that ice can work against it now there's a point where you can actually ice too much or you can use heat too much anytime that you go over 20 minutes of ice or 20 minutes of heat you can actually cause adverse effects you can actually cause more damage to the tissue than heal like giving it for example i've seen patients that fell asleep with ice packs on their back and they got frostbite on their skin and they actually messed their bodies up or the muscle tissue up around the area. Or people fell asleep with heating pads on and it actually burned the skin, it actually burned. So you can actually go overboard with that stuff. A good safe zone that I always recommend for patients is right around 15 to 20 minutes. You don't wanna go over 20 minutes, uh, typically if you're in acute pain, but around 15 minutes is the perfect timeline. Now, going forward, as soon as you get hurt, that's what we call an acute situation. That's usually anywhere from one, the, day you, the time you get hurt to about two week period. It's where you want to use ice. Ice is where you will get an ice pack on. You don't want to put it directly on the skin. You want to actually apply it on a t-shirt, a towel, to your uh, uh, tolerant level to that affected area of what you damage. Say if it's my low back, I will put it on my low back. If it's my shoulder, I put it on my shoulder. Or if it's my neck, I put it around my neck. So that's why it's always good to have a good ice pack in your house and keep it in the freezer. So if you do get hurt, you can just throw that ice pack on and it can actually help reduce inflammations. I find that when people ice immediately after they get hurt or they damage a tissue, they actually heal faster and they heal better because the inflammation doesn't get out of hand. When you reduce the inflammation, it can allow the healing process to go on. And so when you see NBA athletes or football athletes, as soon as they get hurt, first thing they do is they put ice on them. And then now the research is even supporting too where people are doing ice baths to where they're actually submerging their body in ice baths for a certain amount of seconds or minutes as long as they can tolerate it and what they're seeing is that the recovery periods for people athletes that perform at a certain level is so much greater and so one of the things I encourage you to do is that when you get in those things like that is that you put ice on now the question is when do I use heat heat will come in after about two weeks or sometimes after ice tightens some people up then you would actually put heat on it to actually relax those muscles you typically, I use in my clinical setting, I use heat whenever patients have, have chronic arthritis or when they have these conditions that's been lingering on for months and days and years and all these different things like that. So I'll put heat on for about 15 minutes and then we would actually apply ice again and then put heat on again. There's different ways you can do it. But there are different types of heating pads too. You can actually put the kind you put in a microwave, but the kind I recommend is a, a moist heating pad because that can typically penetrate deeper into the muscle and give you the desired result. So just quick thought right there, when to use, when to use ice, when to use heat. You, you figured it out by what I'm saying. If don't, you can always contact me at my office, uh, 708-614-1414, or you can email me, drjohnartis at gmail.com. Uh, God bless. I hope this tool continues to help somebody out there. Be blessed. Have a good day.